Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the Friday update for uh, 600things.com. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief update of what's been going on, answer some questions. Thank you all so much for the support. Uh, this has really been fantastic, all the people writing in uh, here and on Facebook and everywhere uh, with uh, some great ideas and some great questions. Um, so uh, what I'm doing right now, what I see my mission right now in the bedroom, I'm still in the bedroom, is clearing out everything I don't want to count. Uh, just getting rid of old books, old magazines, everything, just getting rid of it, getting rid of everything I don't want to count. Then I'm going to start putting everything on a list so I can see how many things I have, and then I can start getting rid of stuff uh, to get down towards 600. And now, uh, 600 is just the goal. I may not ever reach 600. Um, who knows? Uh, I may, you know, find out that I just can't part with anything else and never get to 600, but that's just uh, the goal. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing. A lot of people have asked what counts. Um, CDs would count as one thing each. Uh, socks would count as, uh, two socks would count as one pair. Uh, but really, you know, I have like probably about 30 pairs of socks in there. Do I really need 30 pairs of socks? I don't know. We'll find out once I start making my list. But as I said right now, it's just clearing everything out, uh, so I only have left the stuff that I want to put on the list. Um, I have, uh, I think, 29 auctions up on eBay right now, and I just took a bunch of pictures for even more stuff that I will get up tomorrow morning. Uh, I've made one trip to the Helping Hands for the Blind uh, thrift store uh, that had like two big boxes and a bunch of framed pictures that I don't want, and uh, donated those. I have uh, one box of books in my car all ready to go because I went through my bookshelves. Uh, clearing out the books I don't need and uh, I have another box filled with books and videos um, that's not full yet but uh, that's going to be going over to the thrift store as well uh, I also had uh, I found out over 50 or 60 tapes with Mystery Science Theater 3000 episodes on them that I haven't watched in forever um, so uh, watch the blog because right after this I'm going to put up an offer where I will send these tapes out uh, free to anybody who pays for the postage and it's about ten dollars per box because I use those flat rate priority mail boxes uh, so if you're a mystery science theater fan uh, watch for that um, now here we go with some questions uh, my good friend Carla Ulbrich uh, messaged me on MySpace this is what she said wow what if you had a stamp collection like me that has a thousand stamps in it and what about underwear does each pair of undies count do you count a box of q-tips or each q-tip I'm so confused uh, your stamp collection will count as one thing. Uh, your underwear would count one as one thing. Each uh, each thing, each pair of underwear counts as one. Um, the Q-tip box would just be one. Also, Q-tips are something that you would use up, so you don't really have to count those. Anything that you can use up, you don't have to count. Anything that wears out, you have to count. So uh, underwear wears out, and uh, you have to uh, to uh, count that. But Q-tips you use up, so you can get rid of them. Uh, and then Carla wrote again, and if underwear is a pair of underwear, does that count as one thing or two? Carla? Uh, do you have to count the stuff in your parents' basement? Yes, you should get that stuff. Get it out of there. That's what I'll be doing in October. I'm making a trip home. I'm going to get all that stuff out of there and uh, either throw it away or put it on eBay or whatever. And then uh, Carla wrote again, uh, if I'm married, can I have uh, 1,200 things as a couple? And what if I'm married to like three different people and each of them only have 200 things? Then can I have 1,800 things? Or I could adopt one of those children that you mail money to and they don't have many things so I could have more. Right. Carla, stop looking for loopholes. Just do it. Clean your stuff out. Uh, Greg from the Rosary Army wrote in and said, uh, shred the bills. Because yesterday I was talking about how I got rid of a bunch of bills. Shred the bills. Don't just throw them away. Big stack of bills. Easy target for fraudsters. Uh, yeah, let me... Uh... These are my bills from yesterday. So I did shred them. I know I said uh, to uh, throw them away in my post, but I really did shred them. They are shredded. Uh, so somebody with a lot of uh, masking tape and, and time could, uh, could check them out. Um, Thank you so much to everybody who uh, wrote in about uh, the articles and the scripts from the papers and stuff. Um, I threw all the papers away except for one copy of each, uh, which I eventually scrapbook or laminate or do something with. One of those fantastic ideas. 
Also, I talked to my mom, and uh, she has asked for a scanner for Christmas uh, because she wants to start scanning in all those stuff and photos like that. So I'm just going to take those home, give my mom, tell her to do it. She's got to do something. She, all the kids are moved out, and she's just buying cats. So uh, she's got to do something. And finally, uh, just a while ago, um, Cyanide Fish wrote in uh, and said, this is a groovy goal, but uh, what you're doing is paring down things, not paring down things. Uh, which uh, was a comment on my spelling. Uh, cyanide fish, I'm a substitute teacher, so uh, spelling does not count for me. Although you will um, always see that I put uh, a lot as two different words, because that's the one thing that really bugs me. Anyway, folks, uh, you can check out a few posts down below, and you will see uh, some pictures of the room as they appeared at the start of the thing, and then yesterday. Um, I hope to tackle the bed tomorrow, get everything off the bed, and maybe, maybe tomorrow you will see a picture of a clean room. Uh, then I can start going through and making my list. Anyway, thank you very much to everybody who's uh, written in. Uh, keep listening in. Thank you so much. Listening, watching, hanging out. And um, I just want to say hi to Granny in Maynard, Massachusetts. Uh, and I hope uh, you're enjoying all this. And uh, that's it. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for visiting 600things.com.